All right, so now we are going to strip some wires inside a box. So I take my ute knife and I put it one inch at least to the back of the box and I draw it towards myself and I try not to cut myself here. And I'm pressing hard and I realize that my utility knife is not very sharp. And then I peel back this insulation like this and I leave one inch of insulation in there. Okay, and then I strip back all, and I expose those three wires. I strip back all the insulation. I have that, I take my angle pliers, going fast, and I nip off just the insulation, and I drop it on the floor. I do the same thing, one inch of insulation left in the box, I stab it right down the middle with my ute knife, and I try not to drive the knife into my hand, and then I press hard at the end, that last one inch, because then I can just use my thumb, and I can peel this, wire back, leaving one inch of insulation. I take off all this other protection, take my one inch, or my angled uh, dikes right there. Okay, so now I'm left with this. As you can see, I try to put two wires into a box and that's it, if I can, okay, because it's the easiest to wire. Now, me personally, I start with the ground and we have to pigtail this. So I take a piece of wire like this, but ooh, wait a second, we have to get the wire out. So I take a pliers, something like this, and I pull out, ooh, look at that, I got a ground, and I got a white wire, and what wire is left? Oh, it's black, and black wire matters, everyone, okay? Because it's hot, like Jenny Crane. And now, we find our strippers. And when you can't find your strippers, it's a problem. So I have to walk over this way, kids. Okay, now what I would do if I was me is I leave about eh, five inches or so and I cut them off. Right here, there's a cutter. Right down at the bottom by my finger, there's a cutter. Boom, I can cut those bad boys off. I take this and I take my ground wire, I bend it at 90 degrees and then I put the death grip on it with my hand like this. Then I can take uh, a linesman pliers, these big bad boys like this, and I can pre-twist it. I don't always do this, but I sometimes have the school kids do it. And I pre-twist it like that, going clockwise, and then I would nip off the ends. Nip. Boom. Like so. And But then I need a wire nut, and it just fell apart. Okay? Bear with me, kids. This is hard. Okay, now we have to find wire nuts. That's the wrong box. Again, wrong box. Okay, we have found some wire nuts. And so I pre-twisted this with the linesman plier. Don't put this in your mouth, kids, because it's coronavirus. And I pre-twisted it with the linesman plier, like that. Well, you don't have to do this. Then I take a tan wire nut, use a tan wire nut for 14-2 wire, and I twist it on until my fingers bleed. And I made sure that everything was flush on the end. So the ground is done. Now I'm gonna work with the Jenny Crane hot ones right here, okay? Make sure the power's off, otherwise, <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was just making fun, okay? And I use the third hole up, and I strip it back about five eighths of an inch, or about the thickness of my thumbnail, or the thickness of that nail right there, okay? The length of it right there, my flip off finger. Okay, and then I go like this, and I strip back this one about five eighths of an inch, twist it a little bit, flick it. I find the black wire, which because black wires matter. I dropped it on the floor. I strip this one back. Guess what, kids? About five eighths of an inch, like that. Bang. And then we take the linesman pliers and, or I just line them up like this, tan wire nut like this, boom, and I put it on there. Death grip with my left hand. I'm right-handed, and I'm twisting until I can feel the wires twist in my hand my left hand right there. And oh, I got good contact. So now I take this one, bang, boom. And I don't know if I told you this, but if I was gonna be anything other than a school teacher, I think I'd be an electrician. And I strip the white wire. This is the neutral, five eighths of an inch, bang, five eighths of an inch. Look for the white wire. <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay, oh, on it. Call off the search party team. Okay, nobody was looking for it anyways because you're at home. And then we strip that wire, five eighths of an inch. We put them together. And again, 
you could use your lines and pliers like this, pre-twist a little bit, and I just twist a quarter turn, and you might be able to see how it's pre-twisted, and then I take a tan wire nut, tan wire nut for three, 14, two wires, and then this is done, okay? Then I would put these into the box, like this, like this, and like this, and now I'm left with three wires, like this, okay? I'm gonna have Matt stop. All right, here's a standard uh, outlet, a 15 amp outlet, which is used with 14, two wire, and you might not be able to see this, but this is gold. Gold screw, silver screws, and a green screw. Uh, the way I remember it is I always say black is gold, baby. Black is gold. So black goes to the gold screws, white goes to the silver screws, and the ground, green is ground. So I take this, and here's the way I do it. Remember, these are about eight inches long. They're a tick long for me right now, so I'm gonna nip them off. I can nip off all these, take off a couple inches, but it's easier to do that than it is uh, to add wire. And then I take the end of this pliers right at the very tippy end right here. I grab the wire like this and I twist it around the end of my wire stripper so it looks something, can you see that? Something like that. And I could do the same with this. I strip back the white wires about seven eighths of an inch. Third hole up, go like that. Twist, end, so it looks something like that, okay? And then I would twist the black wire, about seven eighths of an inch, if it's me. It's a look, little bit long, I nip off the end, and I turn it like this, okay? So I have them all turned. Now I take this, and okay, where does the black wire go again? Does anybody remember? Oh, black is gold. And I always try to think about how is that little tail gonna spin around, okay? And righty tighty lefty loosey. So that tail will spin around the gold screw like that. So I put that one on like that and I tighten it if I had a screwdriver. Did I tell you you should have a screwdriver too probably if you're an electrician? Probably a real good idea, okay? So let's picture we have a screwdriver and I tighten that up. And then we know that white, the white wire goes on the silver screw. And I have to think about that tail and how it's going to wind around that silver screw. And then I tighten that, shh, shh, righty tighty, when the tail is at the bottom. And I tighten that because the tail will go on. And then, again, the ground wire goes on the green screw. And then, boom, like this. We tighten it all up, if it was tight, okay? And then we put it in the box like this. We fold those wires in. And then we would screw this outlet in like this. And we would be ready to plug something in if we had power to this outlet. But again, don't probably wire that when it's live. Otherwise you could get zzz, zzz, zapped. Okay, all right, thanks.